Hi guys, welcome back to my cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm going to show you how to make a Stardust. This particular recipe was found on Tuxedo Number 2, the website. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. A lot of great recipes and some really nice photos as well. This kind of intrigued me, this recipe, because it's ingre utilizing ingredients that I wouldn't ordinarily mix together, being tequila, chocolate, cream, and absinthe. It sounds like a little bit of a weird mix, but hopefully it works. Uh, and it, they did say on their website that they were inspired by the Alexander recipe, as well as what I think was called the North Pole. I'll clarify in the description below. Um, so another tequila based recipe following on from yesterday's video. And I'm gonna measure out 45 mil, ounce and a half of your preferred Reposado tequila. And then 30 mil of your brown creme de cacao. So this is actually the one that I made uh, going back about maybe six weeks ago. I'll have to check on the date. So it's still going strong and I've been keeping it in the fridge the whole entire time. I'll link to the recipe up there. So if, if you want to make it yourself, uh, just measure out 30 mil, one ounce. If you do go to make it, the only thing I'd advise is probably maybe um, use a cheesecloth and fine straining it or something because uh, it's sort of after a while it starts to, to separate. And follow that with 30 ml of cream. So this is a heavy cream, thickened cream. 30 ml, one ounce. And 15 ml of cinnamon syrup. So you can obviously cook this on the stove top, but I've just been steeping uh, a cinnamon stick inside my sugar overnight. Um, bit of a, I'd only want it a tiny bit, so it's a bit of an ad hoc, quick way to do it. Quick way, slow way to do it. So 15 ml, half an ounce of your cinnamon syrup. And the recipe didn't actually say whether it was a uh, white creme de cacao or a brown. I've chosen, I do, whilst I do have both, I just chose to use the, the brown because I've got this and I, I need to utilize it. Uh, so it's completely up to you what you prefer to use. It depends on the, um, obviously use the white one and your drink's gonna look a little bit more white velvety like, whether this would be a little bit darker. So fill your cocktail shaker with ice and give it a good shake. So this does have an absinthe rinse in the glass, so you can either add a few drops and then uh, roll the glass around and then drip it out. Or if you've got an atomizer, just give it a cheeky spray. Just lightly coat the glass and then strain over the top. So I'll leave a link to the Brandy Alexander recipe up here as well, in case you're interested. And for garnish, the original recipe does call for a star anise. I don't have a single star anise lying around. I'm probably not going to use it again. So I'm going to substitute yet again for grated nutmeg. And I'm sorry, Stefan, I will get a fine microplane. I've only got the grater at the moment. So there you have a stardust. Cheers. It's an interesting combination, the, the tequila and the absinthe. You get the absinthe on the nose, those um, anise notes. It's a, it's a good Alexander. Um, the tequila and the chocolate go really well. And then you've got this back note of the, of the cinnamon and the anise. It's quite interesting. It's worth a try. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.